What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Right, so, this is just going to be a quick video. I wasn't going to do a video like this, but because someone actually commented on my unboxing video of this controller, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a little video on this and just explain um, how my controller has held up. So, I've had this for six months now, and you know what? There's nothing wrong with this controller at all. So for anyone who watches this video who hasn't seen my unboxing video of this, this controller I got from Controller Mods UK. It's a UK based website that of course uh, do custom controllers, pro controllers whatever you want to call them. Um, this one I've got is just uh, pretty basic, it's uh, black and white of course. Uh, grips on the back but the only thing that's different is it's got buttons on the back as well and the controller that I had before I just had a standard controller that came with my PS4 and I really wanted to get a controller that had buttons on the back so pro controller if you want to call it and um, I've got one for the Xbox I've got of course the Xbox Elite V1 and since having a PS4, I want something like that. But since Sony got do their own version, I thought, you know, I'm gonna look out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look elsewhere and see what I can find. Of course, there was Scuff, there were Battle Beaver, there were all, there were all kinds of different companies. There's so many different companies that do pro controllers, and I didn't know where to go. I was originally gonna go for a Scuff, but for one, Scuff was too expensive, and two. From all the reviews I've seen, so many people complain about how these scope controllers don't, help, don't hold up after like six months. From there, it starts going downhill. So I thought, you know what? It's not a point spending so much money for a uh, controller so expensive for it to just break on me after half a year. And then I was looking to Battle Beavers. Battle Beavers, I'm still thinking of getting one. This is just to see what it's like. Um, the only thing that throws me off is just the price. I mean, it's really expensive. Control Mods UK, theirs is quite reasonably priced, but to be honest, there's not a whole lot of options that you get with that website. I mean, you don't get like digital tap bumpers or like smart triggers, where, I don't know what you really call them, if it's smart called smart triggers, like, uh, I don't know what you call them. But the ones where basically when you tap the triggers and the bumpers, it sounds and feels like a keyboard click. I mean, mouse click. Those ones. Controller Mods UK don't do that. They pretty much only do buttons on the back and then the mod chip where you can get things like a rapid fire and recoil control, things like that. The mod chips, that's all they have mod chips and the buttons on the back. I wasn't gonna get the mod chip because, to be honest, to me that's cheating. I don't care, I don't play a really good when it comes to card and things like that, but I'm not gonna get any mod chip to make me better at aiming or um, have less control, uh, less um, recoil control and rapid fire on like shotguns to make it look like a machine gun. Nah, not happening. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm thinking about getting a Battle Beaver. Uh, once I get some more money and everything, when I want to get paid, I get paid tomorrow, so I might invest in one. I do have a Astro C40 coming next week, which I got on eBay. I'm not going to get too much into that. All I'm saying is I'm going to do a video on that next week. But yeah, I'm just trying to get a few pro controllers to see what it's like. But all I'm saying is six months of use on this. I've been using it pretty religiously like every day and there is literally nothing wrong with this. Bones on the back feel nice. Still feel brand new like I just got it. Everything is working fine. The only issue I have, the only issue, and this is nothing to do with uh, my control being faulty or anything like that. The only issue that I have is when I first got this, the options button was a bit stiff. I mean, the share button was a bit stiff. Now, the only reason why it's like that is because of the paint job that they did when they put it together. 
they when I told them about it, when I told when I contacted the controller box and told them about it, they did say to me that if I sent them if I sent it over to them, they can sort it out for me and make it better. But I decided, you know what, I'll deal with it, it's fine. Just because I didn't wanna spend the time sending it over there and waiting for it to come back, I just want to play over now. But now I've had it for six months, I think I'm probably gonna take it back and have the share button sorted out so that it feels better. Because the uh, actual options button, that's fine. You might not be able to get, see the difference, but the share button is a bit stiff. I mean, since I've been playing it for, playing with it, my apologies, for six months, it has loosened up. From the first time I got it, it was stiff, like it wasn't doing anything. When I pressed it, it did work, but it felt like it wasn't even pressing. But since I've had it, it has, it has loosened up. So, I don't even know if I'm gonna bother take it back. I don't think I need to. You can hear me clicking if you can. It's just a little bit stiff compared to the options button. But that's literally the only thing. But that's from the start though. Like, I could have got that sorted out when I sent it back. But I didn't send it back. That's, but yeah, that's literally everything. There's nothing wrong with this controller at all. Every button is working fine, it's no stick drift, there's nothing like that. So it's a big shout out to Controller Mods UK. If you're even even worldwide, if you're if you're looking for a reasonably priced control reasonably priced controller, my god I can't talk today. And you don't want to go all out, you just want like a controller with buttons on the back or something like that. Hey, hit up Controller Mods UK, honestly. They are good. Their controllers are good. They're even doing the latest Xbox controllers now as well. And since I've got the Xbox One X, I might invest. But see what else? I'm not sure since I've got an uh, Elite controller. I do want to get the Elite controller V2, so maybe I'll pass on that. But when it comes to the controllers, honestly, there is nothing wrong with them at all. From looking through YouTube, not a lot of people do videos on the controller mods UK, especially people from the UK. So I thought, hey, why not? Why don't I do it? But yeah, this was just a quick video, just explaining that six months of use, no problems at all. And for the next six months, probably be fine too. So yeah, anyone who lo who's looking at getting one of these, I highly recommend. But yeah, this has been it from me, Warrior J, and this has been the way, the Warrior's way. Peace out. Go play some games. Oh, and just a side note I am no way, shape, or form a pro gamer. I just find controllers like this really cool. I'm just a normal, everyday gamer that finds controllers like this convenient. Things like buttons on the back, where all these different options, I find them convenient when I'm a normal, everyday game. I mean, <laughs> When it comes to like FPS games, I am shocking. Having controls like this don't make me any better of a gamer. It's just convenient having buttons on the back for things like jumping and sliding and melee, things like that. I just find it more convenient. That's all it is.